Sign tests are a popular method to simulate real-world vibration because most rotating machinery creates vibrations of a sinusoidal nature. When shakers vibrate according to a sign profile, they reflect the types of vibrations found in automobiles, airplanes, factories, and many types of pumps and engines. Whereas a random test generates many frequencies at once, a swept sign test generates only one frequency and sweeps this frequency through a preset range. The test profile is a graph of amplitude rather than frequency. The swept sign control process consists of generating a sine wave output to excite the device under test. When the control signal input amplitude is detected, the detected level and the reference amplitude are compared and the drive signal amplitude is updated appropriately. Tracking filters greatly reduce noise and the harmonic signals above and below the sine drive frequency. The filter bandwidth can be either fixed or proportional to the current frequency. The SPIDER system continually updates the tracking filter coefficients based on the current center frequency and bandwidth. Safety is a critical concern in a vibration test. If anything unexpected happens, a well-designed controller will safely and smoothly shut down without damaging the test article. For example, a controller running a sign test will immediately stop if a sensor falls off. The shaker will also stop in the event of an amplifier failure or of a broken cable. One feature of sign tests is RSTD, resonance search, track, and dwell. This test which is primarily used in fatigue and durability tests, can determine the resonance of a structure and then dwell at this frequency. Mechanical structures, which are subject to fatigue, such as jet engine turbine blades, require testing to prevent catastrophic failures. Failures of all materials occur fastest when they are subject to vibrations at its resonant frequency. A sign sweep is initially used to determine the resonant frequency of the material. Crystal Instruments developed phase tracking to track changes in a device under test resonance as that resonance changes during the test. The amplitude and phase can be measured continuously and accurately. The vibration frequency can also be finely adjusted to assure that the material is consistently vibrated at its resonance frequency until a steep change in amplitude signifies fatigue. Crystal Instruments designed the first fourth generation vibration controller using the latest in technology. The only thing better than our controllers is our unparalleled support.